Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. Today I'm going to be talking about point horror books and specifically looking at their cover designs. And it should be a fun video because I'm going to be comparing the UK covers to the US covers. And as you know, I'm a big point horror fan. They were some of the books that I grew up on and were one of the things that I was able to get into as a budding horror fan and yeah they just hold a lot of nostalgia for me. So the UK editions that I'm familiar with were all originally published in the US and I yeah put together a spreadsheet because I love a good spreadsheet and have the US edition covers and the UK ones I just thought it would be a fun video to do a comparison and pick my favourites out of the two and of course you can play along as well and pick your favourites as we go along. And some of them actually used the same artwork for both UK and US so I didn't bother including those and funnily enough my Funhouse t-shirt, um, this cover design is one of the ones that it was the same artwork used for both UK and US. Anyway, out of all of the ones that have different cover designs, I randomly selected 20 of them. So yeah, we're gonna go through those in this video and it should be fun. And before we get started, I just wanted to mention, I did share a video, I had to check, and it was back in 2018, so it's been a while, but I started a series going through my Point Horror book collection. So if you haven't checked that out, already and you would like to then please go do so, I will leave a link. And weirdly enough when I checked it to see what year it was that I had published that video it was actually published on May the 13th and that's <laughs> like we're almost on the exact date four years later that I'm now doing this video which is completely by chance so yeah. Anyway on to the book covers. So I have my laptop over here <laughs> that I've got all my uh, covers to look at and we're going to start off with The Babysitter by R.L. Stein. and I'm going to count the series as a whole here and we have four books in the series and yeah I mean the UK ones I think have a little bit of a more serious and sinister tone than the US ones do but I do like the US ones I think they have a bit more of a consistent design over the four books. So it's a tough one. I like, yeah, I like the sinisterness of the UK ones, but I think the US ones are really fun. Um, and they do still look a bit sinister as well, like the circumstances that this character is in clearly look a bit scary. So I think for consistency's sake, I'm going to go with the US ones over the UK ones here and I'm going to be keeping tabs on which are my favourites. Okay, next up is an interesting one because the title was different in the different countries. So in the US this one was published as I Saw You That Night and in the UK it was published as The Witness. So two very different cover designs going on here. I do love the goofiness of the US one. I love the jazziness, the pink letters, the skeleton with sunglasses. I mean, what is not to love there, honestly? But I do really like the UK one. I think definitely gives a very different vibe. And this is one that I have not reread recently. So I'm not sure exactly what the storyline was and which one, which artwork fits better. But I do really like that hand almost silhouetted against this sunset in the background. I think it's very cool. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do love a skeleton, but I think The Witness maybe wins this one. I think that one interests me more and would make me want to read it more than the other one. So yeah, I'm gonna go UK. Next is Second Sight by Sinclair Smith. And yeah, the US one is really cool. We've got these big eyes overseeing this figure that looks like they're jumping between buildings and the UK one is a much more simple design and it's very green and gold and yeah we've got a figure that looks like they're falling 
and there's some kind of medallion dropping. Um, yeah, I think this one, it's got to be the US one. I just think it's a much more interesting design. Definitely intrigues me more than the UK one. I mean, sometimes simple is good, but I think this one, I don't know, just doesn't really grab me. So we're gonna go US. Next is Driver's Dead by Peter Larangis. And yeah, I think I do like the US one here. I really like that tire track in the title, in the dead part of the title. That's very cool. The title is definitely much more prominent versus the UK one. The UK one here, again, is quite a simple design. We've just got the car with the headlights. Honestly, not that interesting. <laughs> Whereas the US one, yeah, we've got this gnarly car crash and tire tracks in the title. Yeah, I think it's got to be US for this one. Okay, now we have the Dead Game by A. Bates. And this one's interesting because it's a similar concept here. We've got this varsity jacket hanging over a gravestone, but they're definitely different pieces of art that have been created for the two different editions. And the US one has a much more jaunty title, like this font is kind of wacky. And we're really focused on that jacket and gravestone. Whereas the UK one definitely gives a bit more of a serious tone and yeah, we're kind of pulled back a bit. So we're getting more of the setting and we can see the moon in the sky in the background. I think I like the UK one more for this. It just looks a bit more spooky and a bit more scary. So yeah, we're gonna go UK. Next is the 13 Anthology. So this is, yeah, a collection of short stories from different authors and the US one has 13 written in red with blood dripping and then the UK one has 13, like the digit 13 and a spooky moon. I think the UK one is much more striking and yeah, I'm biased, but yeah, this one just feels much more iconic point horror to me. Um, the US one is still pretty cool. I mean, you can't go wrong with dripping blood, really, but I think I'm gonna go UK. I thought I was the coolest for owning this book <laughs> back in the day. So yeah, it's gotta be UK. Now we have Camp Fear by Carol Ellis. Definitely giving off different vibes here. The US one is very bright. We've got this neon lettering and a snake. So yeah things are happening here. It's quite eye-catching. And then the UK one is much more sedate. It's a bit more simple and we've just got these like burning embers of a campfire. I think the UK one looks much more ominous and the US one, yeah, looks like it would be fun. Um, and I have read this one and it's not necessarily a fun one. It's kind of a bit sad actually from what I remember. So I think the UK one does a better job of setting the tone maybe. I think they're both great covers though. I do love the neon and the snake in the US one, but I think I'm gonna go UK. Next up is another Carol Ellis and it's The Stalker. So the US one, we have this, yeah, another really striking title, these really jagged letters and We've got sunglasses with someone's reflection in the sunglasses looking scared. Great, really striking, love it. And the UK one, we've got, yeah, like a slashed costume that looks to be on a stage. Honestly, not a huge fan of the UK one here. I think it's kind of boring, sorry. Um, I mean, it's fine, but I think compared to the US one, US one definitely wins this. It just looks super cool and makes me want to read it. Next is Spring Break by Barbara Steiner. Again, two very different vibes going on here. So I do really like the title of Spring Break. The font is really cool. And we've got this, yeah, group of teenagers in a vehicle and then this kind of ominous looking creepy house in the background. Whereas the UK one is much more simple and we've got a skeleton sitting in a chair. <laughs> There's some kind of party situation going on. And yeah, this is a tough one because I actually really like them both. 
in different ways but I think that skeleton is pretty good so I'm gonna pick the UK for this. Okay we have a bit more R.L. Stein and Halloween Night 1 and 2 I figured I'd pair these together as well and this is a tough one because I do really like the UK ones yeah focusing on these jack-o-lanterns but I think the US ones they just really nailed it the jack-o-lantern with the knife stabbed in it like how cool is that and then for the second one the skeleton costumes are just absolutely badass so yeah while I do love the UK ones I'm gonna go US for this next is The Claw by Carmen Adams and again similar ideas going on here for the cover design but different results so yeah we've got literal claws <laughs> slashing what looks to be a locker and the US one is very silver and then we've got kind of a blood handprint and the UK one is this like really cool pinky purple I think the UK one is my favourite out of these two I think it just is much more eye-catching with that pink purple colour it's very cool whereas the UK one I don't know just doesn't really grab me as much so we're going UK moving on to The Window by Carol Ellis I actually recently reread this one and it was really good so the US one we've got this view into a window someone looks like they're being attacked and then we've got this like giant icicle dripping down the outside very cool and then the UK one bit of a different vibe going on a little bit kind of boring honestly we've got these roses and then what looks to be blood smeared on the window so it's still a cool cover but I think the US one is yeah very cool I like how the W's of the title kind of mirror the icicles um yeah it's just a much cooler cover honestly so US definitely for this one and another R.L. Stein, The Dead Girlfriend so similar concept here we've got a dead girlfriend <laughs> on the cover the US one we're seeing a bit more of said dead girlfriend and she's like part skull which is pretty cool and then the UK one we're just focused on her eyes so the UK one is yeah definitely kind of darker in tone and honestly looks a bit spookier even though the US one has part of a skull on it I just think the UK one looks a bit a bit creepier so yeah I think I'm gonna go UK okay next up freeze tag by Carolyn B Cooney no contest it's got to be the UK one like this is honestly one of my favorite covers it's just so gnarly like and it's so realistic we've got these bloody hands coming out of this jagged ice it's so cool and yeah I just love how <laughs> gnarly it is for what is essentially a children's book absolutely love it and then we've got this yeah jagged title in red to mirror the blood it's so cool yeah definitely one of my favorite covers interestingly enough the US one has the same title it has the same font used as the title but it's in silver instead of red and then the artwork is completely different we've got this character who is looks like they're being turned to ice they're literally being frozen it's no contest yeah sorry US UK wins this one hands bloody hands down okay yes next up is another Caroline B Cooney the perfume similar concept we've got a perfume bottle it's a no-brainer really and I think I do like the quirky font they've used in the US one and then yeah it looks like blood coming out of the perfume bottle it's cool like that's totally sufficient but I think the UK one just does a better job of conveying this sinister perfume because we have this kind of like wafting design and that also comes through in the font it's kind of like a little bit wavy and looks like it's coming out of the bottle so I think that's really cool and then also the bottle design from what I remember from reading it the bottle in the story 
is shaped like a snake. So they obviously did a bit more research <laughs> in the UK version rather than just generic perfume bottle on the US cover. So yeah, we're gonna go UK. Next is Fatal Secrets by Richie Tankersley Cusick. Very different covers here. The US one is a much more elaborate design. We've got this character and these, yeah, creepy dolls and stuff around her. I think this one gives, yeah, a pretty like spooky and mysterious vibe. And then in comparison, the UK one is honestly a bit boring. Um, I do like the colours of it, this like purple and then the silver title to kind of go with the icy theme. Um, I do think the UK one is good. I mean, it's quite sinister with this like cracked ice and a ribbon in it. Obviously looks like someone might have drowned. Um, but I just think the design of the US one is much more interesting. And yeah, we're gonna go US for this one. Okay, next up is another Caroline B. Cooney and Night School. I think the US one for this kind of looks more like a middle grade book to me than a young adult book. So I think it's a kind of a cool design. I like the title and yeah, the figures, I don't know, they kind of look like zombies to me. I have not read this one recently, so I don't remember what the storyline is. Whereas the UK one is a bit more simple. We've just got this like trapped figure. So I don't know, I'm actually not a huge fan of either of these covers, if I'm honest. But I think if I had to pick one, I think it might be the UK one, just because, I don't know, I. I feel like the US one just, yeah, it looks a bit more kid friendly than young adults. So I think the UK one definitely looks a bit scarier. Okay, next is Dream Date by Sinclair Smith. And yeah, similar concept here. Obviously got someone in bed dreaming potentially. And I mean, the UK one here is iconic. Like I love, the pinkness of it and this, yeah, shadow creeping over this unsuspecting person in bed. And then the font is kind of like fluffy and cloud-like. Yeah, I just think it's a really great cover and despite the fact that it's very pink, it manages to be creepy as well. So I think that one's awesome. And I do really, really like the US one as well. Like this one focuses more on black. I think the font is really cool. And then, yeah, I love these like huge eyes. Yeah, being very sinister over this poor character in bed. They're both really, really good. So this is a tough decision, but I think it's got to be UK one. I just, how can it not be the UK one, honestly? Okay, next is Hide and Seek by Jane McFan. Yeah, two very different ones here. The US one, we've got this figure who is, yeah, looking very scared and it's all very like yellow and gold. And the UK one, we're kind of looking up into some trees and we've got this, yeah, parrot picture <laughs> floating down. Um, yeah, honestly not a huge fan of the UK one here. I think the US one is much more interesting. So yeah, I love how the title kind of takes up most of the page, um, but you know, we've still got like that full picture as well behind it. Yeah, I just think it's a really good design. So we're gonna go US here. Okay, and last up is The Mall by Richie Tankersley Cusick. And yeah, the US one, yeah, we've got this character Looks like there's something strange going on in the mall around her. Um, very bright colours and yeah, checkerboard flooring and everything. It's quite jazzy. And then the UK one is just like, nah, we're gonna have some creepy mannequin hands, except one of them is a human hand and it's dead and it's really creepy. So yeah, it's got to be the UK one for this. I just think it's a very simple but effective cover. And yeah, definitely seems much more intriguing to me than the US one. So UK wins this one, okay. 
Okay, so that was it. Those were the 20 random ones that I put together for this video. And I was totting up which ones were my favourites. So out of the 20, my favourites were, eight of them were the US covers and 12 of them were the UK covers. So UK wins, yay. And maybe I'm biased, you know, I do have obviously a bit more familiarity and nostalgic connection with the UK ones. But there are definitely quite a few of them where I just genuinely think <laughs> the US one has a better cover. So, you know, honest opinion and it's just a bit of fun anyway. You'll have to let me know if our tastes line up or if we're completely different. I think, yeah, I mean, all the covers are really cool anyway, honestly. And yeah, I just really love looking at cover design from this era. I just find it very visually appealing and interesting. So yeah, this has been a fun little experiment to compare the US and UK covers. And I do have plenty more <laughs> still to do. So if you enjoyed this video, I could always do a part two. Let me know if there are any standout favourites of these book covers. I think Freeze Tag by Caroline B. Cooney is definitely one of mine. It's so good. But yeah, so many great covers. Love Point Horror. And this has been a really fun video to do. So I really do hope you have enjoyed it as well. If you're looking for some more Point Horror related videos, then I do have a bunch of them. Like I said, they are from a few years ago, but still well worth checking out if you like Point Horror. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.